Okay, um, update on my car transport. So I have a previous video where um, I'm talking about my moving and moving experience with Nationwide Moving. I'm moving from Oregon to Charlottesville and I'm having the movers come, take my things. I'm going to have my car transported across the country and uh, pick it up in Charlottesville and then I'm flying. Since I've, you know, it's the wrong time of the year to be going across the country all by myself. I've made the trip four times. I don't want to do it anymore. And um, and I just figured this will just be an easier way to do it. So the car transport company is um, Roadrunner. So when I started getting quotes for all of this, um, they were a, a decent price. So it was $1,300, $1,365. And I said, okay, we'll, we'll do that. I, I accepted Roadrunner as my... Um, it's my people and um, when it came the next days when I went to go sign the contract they raised it a hundred dollars and they just said they misquoted it and it's like okay a hundred dollars it's fine and so um, because I need to get this done and um, so now it's been several weeks and uh, since I signed the contract and I have six days until they're supposed to come and pick it up and they called me this morning and they said I'm sorry um, well, first they said, we have somebody for your truck, your your load, um, but it's going to have to be 16, 16, I think, 95, 16 and change. And I said, well, well why has the price keep going up? And I said, well, we're a brokerage company, and um, nobody wants to take your car across the country for the price that we quoted it at. So it's like, oh, my God. Okay, so... <sighs> exasperated there's like nothing I could do apparently about this because they're just a brokerage company and the contract is meaningless that they they, they sold me I said fine fine six hundred dollars I just need to get going and, and they have a truck I just got a phone call it is um two o'clock in the afternoon I think I spoke to them around 10 that the truck driver canceled the pickup so now I don't have anybody to pick up my car to go across the country um, <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to end. So I don't know if they're going to call me back and say, you need to pay another $1,000 or another you know, $500 to do this. I don't know what's going to happen next. But at this point, I still don't have somebody to pick up my, I don't have a truck driver signed to my, my project yet, my job yet. And um, my flight's leaving on the 19th. Actually, it's leaving, you know, early morning, 19, 12, 12.30 a.m. Um, so, you know, Initially, it was going to be dropped, picked up at on, on Monday, you know, afternoon, and then I was going to get Uber to the Portland airport and and wait there until my flight left. So right now, um, I don't have any plans. Nobody's taking my my car. So the contingency is maybe I just sell my car, go to CarMax, have them you know buy a car in Charlottesville. You know, I've been I've been I've been thinking about that route too. By the way, it looks like maybe my hand may be forced here. Um, I might just go ahead and, and, you know, it's at that time where it's time for a new vehicle and just go ahead and get another car. And so as much as I don't want another car payment, I don't have a car payment now. My car's paid off, which is a lovely, lovely thing. But it's getting to be the age where it's going to start having issues. Um, and the upholstery is in, in rough shape, you know, splitting. And I know the, <laughs> and I know my car, my, my car seat heaters, um, one of them isn't working properly either. So it's starting to have some maintenance issues um but they're little things at this point um so that's but so that's what I'm, I'm throwing around if i can't get my car across the country um with me maybe i'll just sell it here and buy another car there and then carmax allows you to do that i could literally find the car that i want um in virginia and actually buy it here trade my car in here buy the car um, which lives in virginia and when I get there, if I don't like it, they give you a 30-day guarantee. So CarMax is awesome that way. I can drive it for 30 days and say, hey, I, I hate this car. So if I don't like the car when I get there, then I can certainly get another car um, without a problem. Or I can, and the only reason I'd say trade it in here to get another car, I think they give me more money if I actually bought the car, got the trade in power and, and bought it through the local CarMax instead of just taking the cash and going. So, uh Again, this is really frustrating, um, and um, I'm hoping it gets all cleared up, and I get my car or, or get a new car, I don't know. So 
again, you know, I'm, I'm here days out from leaving and nothing is firm. I don't have a firm pickup date for my, 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 what's furnishing I have left and I don't have a car pickup date yet. And, and I'm supposed to be out of here, you know, in, in six days. So, um, hopefully it all firms up. I'll keep you posted.